Good morning from Dresden, Germany. Woo! I am here with Chris from Travels of Chris. Yeah, Travels, Travels of, Chris. of Chris. She is a fellow YouTuber from Canada living in Prague. So today we just took a quick day trip to our bus ride from Prague to Dresden and we're gonna go check it out. I'm gonna eat some currywurst. That's my whole plan of the day is just to eat food. So that's our plan. Food and check out Woo! some Dresden, Germany. Yeah. February of 1945, the end of World War II was coming and Dresden was actually bombed pretty extensively. It was 1.6 acre of the city center was destroyed. It was bombed by uh, both American and British military and it's kind of up for debate. Um, they still say in America and Britain that it was uh, a rightful bombing, but it is up for debate that it was considered war crimes, <laughs> specifically because they didn't bomb anything of use like train stations or um, factories, anything that would actually have like a military use. They didn't bomb any of that, they just bombed the city center, and it's thought that they did it specifically for retaliation against Germans. This is ridiculous. I am here in Dresden, Germany with another Canadian. She's from Nova Scotia, but we are at Ontario Steakhouse. We're gonna go check the menu and see if there's anything we can eat here. Ah, so funny. A little piece of Canada in Dresden. I'm not good, I couldn't be an actress. <laughs> I just forget my lines. <laughs> Yum. Is it everything you've dreamed of for the past year? It is so good. Yeah? Does it remind you of home? Yes. Is it something you could find at home? Is it just like a chocolate it's or a brownie? It's just like chocolate, but it doesn't taste like garbage. Oh my gosh, that is super chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Ooh la la. Real Canadian beer. Hmm, Czech beers may be a little bit better, but still exciting. is wearing like coats and everything and we're both in t-shirts I'm in a dress like yeah yep. very very Canadian right here so I believe right here is Augustus Bridge I'm not I'm not 100% sure mostly because um, it doesn't look like it did in pictures probably because of all the construction we are currently walking through Brule's Terrace which pretty famous. I read about it yesterday, but um, I didn't write down why it was famous, so unfortunately, I don't have very much facts about this it's just place. Famous. It's, Who it's knows famous. It's famous. We we don't know why.
So I have been living in Prague for a year now and I speak um, no Czech but I'm very proud of myself because I can kind of like pick out words like I figured out this is a school behind me um, because I can kind of pick out a few words from German to English with absolutely no training so I'm feeling really cool but over here they have some, um, some Ninja Turtles written on there so I'm thinking this might have something to do with art. So right down here behind me is from uh, the it's old town fortification. It was from 1533, I believe was the year, and it used to house four cannons. So that's a pretty long time ago and pretty cool. About to try my first ever vegan ice cream but also ice cream roll. Chris is corrupting me. She's making me eat vegan corrupting. things. <laughs> so right now we just found this really really pretty garden called Zvinga, yeah. maybe. Yeah, good pronunciation. <laughs> not, th not that I have any qualifications to say she has good pronunciation, but. Apparently I'm better at German than Czech to date, so I'm crushing this. <laughs> to the top of the garden which you have to access from like outside of the garden very weird uh, but we found our way up but it's raining now <laughs> and Chris looks real freaking cute I look real <laughs> cute like you guys are all shook right now So the sun is back out, which makes me happy. Yeah, finally. waiting to take um, a picture back here and <laughs> there's this like couple with bicycles and they just like parked their bikes and stood there for like 20 minutes and we're like very obviously waiting to take a picture and they just stared back at me and yeah, didn't move. Like, 
I don't give a fuck, you Taurus. <laughs> yeah. It was the rudest thing I've ever experienced. Like it was very obvious that we wanted to take pictures there and they just, you know. And it's like, I was like weaving around them, like obviously trying to get like a photo and like in between this guy and it was like totally obvious what I was doing, but they just like looked at me and like, it was, was too bad. It was <laughs> so awkward. Yeah. So I was on the hunt for a German beer and I actually found one that's made right here in Dresden. It is Red Burger. I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but yay, it's quite delicious. As I said, I'm essentially just here for the currywurst. Only reason I came to Germany. Ah, I'm so excited. So much food. Like way more food than I expected, but um, fucking cheers. Girl literally just ate like a plate of sauce. It was so fucking good, but like, it's a lot of sauce. <laughs> so we are pretty much finishing up our day here in Dresden. It has been a lot of fun. It was definitely, uh, prettier than I expected. I've actually been to Dresden before, but I essentially just like slept here because I got stranded in Germany because of a train strike a couple years ago. So I've been here and I've never seen any of it. So it's kind of like ridiculous that I didn't mm. check it out when yeah, I was here last gosh. time. Because it is really pretty and like there's a lot to do. A lot more than I expected to yeah. do. Um, but yeah, we're like finishing up now. So. Thank you very much for watching. Um, check out Chris's channel, Travel Chris. I will mm -hmm. link it down below. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this of me and usually my dog Athena exploring Prague or Czech or Europe or wherever I am, who knows, then uh, subscribe because there will be another video coming next Thursday. Bye! Bye! Tschüss!